When you assign interactive digital lessons, it's important to know what your students will see and experience. Let's take a closer look at what students will experience once an easel activity is assigned. First, start with an activity you want to assign to your students. You can find ready-made easel activities on TeachersPayTeachers.com or with a TPT School Access subscription. You can upload a PDF you have rights to edit and use to easel, or you can create your own activity on easel from scratch. Be sure to check out other easel videos for tips on how to select and create activities. After you've selected or created your easel activity and customized it with the annotation tools, click on View as Student at the top of the screen. Here, you can preview how the activity will look to students when it's been assigned to them, and you can see and try the annotation features they can use to complete the activity. For the most part, students will have access to the same annotation tools that you do when you create or modify an easel activity. The one exception is the answer box tool. While students can fill out an answer box, they can't add a new box to the activity. Although students can add almost any annotation that you can, they cannot delete any of the annotations you've added. They will only be able to delete annotations they've added themselves. Similarly, with the exception of any shapes, text, or images that you or the teacher author opted to make movable, students cannot select and move any of your annotations. To add to this, students also cannot accidentally resize any of the shapes, images, and other annotations you've added. When viewing an activity, students will be able to zoom in and out of the pages as needed by clicking on the plus and minus signs on the right side of the screen. To navigate through multi-page activities, students will click the forward and backward arrows at the bottom of the screen. Once you assign a lesson to students, when they navigate to the activity, they'll sign in with their email address. After doing so, the activity will appear as it does when you preview it in view as student mode. When students are ready to submit a lesson, they simply click the blue Turn In button. Note that this button is displayed but inactive when you preview the activity in view as student mode. When students are ready to sign out of Easel, they simply click Sign Out at the bottom left. Once you add feedback to a student's completed easel activity and return it to the student, they'll then be able to revisit the assignment on easel by going to the original assignment link you shared with them. They'll see your comments and corrections, and they'll have the option to make changes and resubmit the work as often as you request. Thanks so much for watching. In the next video, learn how to review completed easel activities from your students.